Hello everyone on the occasion of World Mental Health Day 2025 in October I would like to speak to you on two important uh, topics one is the neurobiological basis of uh, one of the commonest mental health conditions depression and in the second part of the video I'd like to brief you on the promise and the role of integrative therapy so what is the biological basis of depression we all know that depression is one of the commonest illnesses that afflicts mankind and causes a great deal of suffering even though we do not have a simple easily accessible test for depression like a blood test or a scan like we do for high blood pressure or diabetes but we do know a great deal of research has happened and we do know that structural microstructural cellular level changes happen in depression in the brain so what are these changes these changes can be conveniently grouped into six different changes the most important of these are changes in the monoaminergic system in the brain neurochemical concentrations chiefly among serotonin dopamine norepinephrine and the gamma amino butyric acid changes are uh, affected in brain and depression the second most important change is what happens to uh, the levels of the stress hormone called cortisol because the stress hormone uh, system is stimulated there's a great deal of outpouring of the stress hormone level called cortisol there is an activation a chronic low grade neuroinflammation that happens not only in the brain and because of this uh, uh, inflammatory cytokines are also secreted so there is an ongoing low grade uh, inflammation which cannot be identified with conventional blood tests the fourth most important thing that happens are the changes that happen in neuroplasticity so as a result of this the brain derived neurotrophic factors uh, the, there's a changes in the level of this particular uh, factor in the brain the fourth most important thing that happens is fifth most important thing that happens is that there is a change in uh, the gut brain axis which is being increasingly recognized of late what happens is that there's a imbalance between uh, the concentration of the good bacteria and the bad bacteria because of this hormone levels chemical levels all of these are changed and this sends back signals from the gut into the brain and because of this the uh, mental balance and the emotional resilience is also affected so these are the chief changes that happen in the brain in uh, depression which is one of the commonest mental health conditions in the world and leads to uh, a lot of disability in patients who are afflicted with this important condition